Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are gathered here to talk about and tell you any and everything that you would want to know about the upcoming GATE and JAM exams. Today we have with us Professor Rajesh Shivasta, Chairman of the GATE and JAM Committee, IIT Kanpur, Professor Ram Kumar and Professor Akash Anand, Vice Chairman of the GATE and JAM Committee. Welcome sir. Thank you. Uh, can you uh, today tell us a little bit about uh, GATE, a uh, little bit details about what the exam is and what JAM is? Okay. So GATE is supposed to be the uh, aptitude test uh, in engineering, that is aptitude test. Uh, so people have this uh, impression that it's only for engineering graduates or admission to engineering postgraduate uh, courses. But GATE uh, is now being conducted in science as well as humanity subjects also. So it is not only uh, for MTech admission or uh, master's admission in engineering. Uh, moreover, it also helps in uh, getting into PSUs. Some PSUs, they take uh, great results uh, for their hiring purpose also. And JAM is uh, for admission to master's program in sciences. Uh, so uh, the date of exams would be uh, February uh, 3rd and 4th and then uh, 10th and 11th. Uh, for GATE and for JAM, it would be 11th of February. When are we expecting results for both exams? Uh, results for the exams uh, are typically out in the third week of March uh, 2024. Uh, exact date I cannot say right now, but uh, uh, third week of March would be the expected date. What is the process of applying for the exam and process of getting admissions into IITs and ISC? Okay. Uh, so for applying to, uh, for the GATE and JAM exams, uh, it's all online. So people have to submit uh, applications online. The last date with late fee uh, will be uh, in October. But we are hoping, uh, we are expecting that the last date uh, for applying would be extended uh, without the uh, additional late fee. So what are the top PSUs that uh, students can get through uh, with the GATE exam uh, score? Generally it is DHCL, IOCL, uh, EIL, NTPC, then uh, we have also DRDO labs. Few of them are also taking a GATE exam as their entry. So there are two things. One, they take it for their final recruitment, call them only for interview or they take it for first level shortlisting and then go for further process. And if one uh, prepares for GATE then the scores can they also be used or can it also help for any other entrance exams like IES or something? Uh, GATE preparation helps them. Uh, GATE is the only exam to the best of my knowledge which gives you a validity for three years. Nowadays GATE is also accepted as an admission test for Euro-Asian countries. So people who are interested in Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, South Korea, then Europe, you take Italy, France, Germany. Technical University of Germany has slowly started accepting GATE score as their entry examination and uh, they also give admissions directly based on the GATE scores. And uh, can a student uh, opt to change their field of study uh, once they get GATE and get admission into a college? Yes, so GATE exam says that it, there are almost 30 papers and the last three papers which is uh, engineering science, hum uh, life science and humanity science papers, these papers have combination. So approximately there are 50 papers are, uh, are there in GATE examination. The student of any undergraduate can take these examination at varying levels. But when they get admission, certain universities put a restriction that their undergraduate should be in in the, ex in the GATE score where they have got, but rest of the institutes are open. So it is not a restriction that if I am civil engineer that I should take only a civil engineering paper, you can do also a mechanical engineering paper. Okay. Uh, can you describe the uh, pattern of the GATE and JAM exams? Okay, GATE examination has a, there is a lot of myth about GATE examination, it is a very tough examination. No, it is a very, very easy examination. GATE examination has one mark questions and two marks questions only. Again, in the categories of questions, there are only three types. One is called as multiple choice question. The other one is called as multiple select question. And the third one is numerical answer type. So there are testing. 
So there are MCQs, MSQs and NAT questions. MCQ questions comes with four choices. One of the choice is the right answer. In MSQ, one or more answers can be right. And that is the difference between MCQ and MSQ. Partial grading in MSQ is not there. For example, if the answer is A, B, you mark only A, will you get half of the mark? No, you have to mark both. NAT questions are numerical um, answer questions. So there will be a box there, there will be no choice. A virtual calculator will be available. If a student wants to understand a virtual calculator or he wants to do a mock examination of GATE, there are all these things available uh, at the website of IIC Bangalore, IIT Kanpur conducted it prior, it is available. You can try to have a mock exam and understand. For MCQ questions, there is always a negative score. If it is one mark question, it is one third negative. If it is two mark question, it is two third negative. And NAT questions and MSQ questions does not have any negative score. So it's a very easy examination. It will have 55 questions in the, in the subject wise and 15 question, 10 to 15 questions in the general aptitude. Again, in the subject, you have 15 marks approximately in, with respect to mathematics and rest will be your area. So it's a very easy exam. You start preparing and gate third year students and final year students can take the examination. So predominantly second year syllabus and third year syllabus will be most dominating in the gate examination. Uh, is there an aptitude component? And if yes, yes then yes. does it yes. include in, in, in the general question? aptitude? In general, there are 15, 10 questions in general aptitude, out of which there is English, then the logics, little bit of mathematics, very basic mathematics, those questions are there. That is common to all. Any paper you take out of, there are 27 main papers, all the papers will have this general aptitude common. Same questions will be there or similar questions will be there and then you will have a subject question. And uh, people might uh, ask that MCQ question, how do I distinguish it as MCQ and MSQ? At the question paper, type, uh, every question on the top, it will, dis it will be displayed that it is an NAT question, it is MCQ, it is MSQ. So that will give you a lead. So it's a very easy examination, completely computer based. It's English, only English is the media of question paper as of today. So it is easy and I would encourage many students to start preparing and then uh, go for the examination. A sincere preparation of three months is good enough for cracking a good score in gate examination. So the JAM exam, what is the purpose of it and who should take the exam? JAM is an examination for, for entrance into master's program at IITs and ISC, even some uh, other national institutes like uh, ICERs and uh, NICERs and so, so there are other institutes that take admissions through JAM. Uh, so, so this is conducted in seven uh, subjects. So there is mathematics, physics, chemistry, uh, statistics, uh, geology and economics. So, so there are several programs across 21 IITs that take admissions uh, through JAM exams in the master's program. What will be the difference in the GATE and the JAM exam uh, entrances? So JAM, as I said, is, is mostly for science students, in, uh, so admission into science programs. So, uh, and uh, so, so it's open for those who have done bachelor's, who have bachelor's degree in sciences and, and they, they, they are looking for admissions into master program in science. Can people only apply for uh, or give only one paper or is there a multiple paper option in JAM? So you can actually go for two papers. Uh, so, so JAM exams are conducted in two sessions. So uh, we take care of certain combinations of papers uh, that appear in different sessions. So for example, if, if someone is interest, interested in uh, appearing for mathematics as well as statistics, uh, they can do that. So they can go for two papers uh, as, as long as they are both scheduled in different sessions. So and how about the scoring for the final result is uh, both um, consolidated if you take both exams or are there two separate uh, scorings? No, so they get separate scores for uh, each paper. And as uh, as you may know, so admissions, so 
Jam, jam is not only an exam, we also uh, have this admission portal through which uh, we, we coordinate the admissions into IITs. So, so, so that's also there. But will um, just one if you apply for two papers, sir, then uh, will when you're applying for uh, admissions, then uh, does can you just apply through one score, or if you have given an exam, you have to uh, show both the scores? No, so it, that depends on the program in which you are okay. applying. So, for example, there are some programs that will require mathematics score. There will be some program that will uh, require statistics scores. Just, an, just uh, as an example, so so you can apply for various programs, and if you have uh, given multiple exam, I mean multiple uh, exams, you can you have more options for for uh, getting admission. And how about the admissions? Uh, in the, are there any relaxations or waivers for women uh, while giving the exams? Yes, so we we certainly encourage that, and uh, for women candidates, uh, there is fifty percent uh, waiver in the examination fee. And are the exam dates uh, and centers all the same as GATE or are there any differences? So examination date is 11th of uh, February, uh, two sessions, morning and afternoon. And centers are more or less similar to what we have for GATE, but depending on uh, the interest of students, we may have, uh, we may add some centers. So what is the validity of the GATE score? Uh, GATE score is valid for three years. Suppose 2024 you take the exam, you get a good GATE score, it is valid up to 2027. So it's three year validity program. So you are saying that uh, if I uh, give the exam today, my score, with the same score, I can apply within the next three years? Yes, yes, you can apply. And in between you want to use this scorecard for multiple programs. For example, uh, at IIT Kanpur you are applying for direct admission, BTEC, PhD, and at some other place you want to apply for masters or you want to apply for PSU, you can use it at multiple places. So why do you think uh, during the last few years uh, the number of people who are taking the gate or the jam exam has been reducing? Yeah, basically uh, people have started having a myth that this exam is very tough and uh, people also have a, have a feeling that this is only for further studies. So now these two are being completely removed. This is not a very tough exam and uh, this exam is also used for PSUs as well as Euro-Asian country admissions. So now we are bringing out to the students that all these things are myth, remove the myth and start preparing for the examination. And the other interesting part of GATE examination is once you have an examination of GATE, then media of examination is English, so you don't have to have a separate English test to say that that you are doing this and that. So we are trying to remove the myths from the people. And second thing is now slowly PSUs have started accepting our GATE scores. So now the numbers will increase. So that's what we are now going. And on top of it now, private seg uh, segments also have slowly started accepting the GATE score. For example, the Lions groups are looking forward, Tata groups are looking forward, Wipro is also looking forward. So some of these private organizations are coming forward to accept the GATE score. So the declination, the decline is because of the feeling and the word of mouth spread. So that is what IIT Kanpur is taking initiative in reaching out to colleges and students explaining about the examination and the advantage. We hope this will have a higher impact in the near future. What are IITs and ISC, especially IIT Kanpur doing to promote people to come and take this exam? Okay, so cur currently what we have done, apart from this program, what we connect with you online, we have also the team, three of us have decided and we are also going to various institutes and uh, trying to explain about the examination. And uh, this year what we have done is we have also uh, in our website, IIC is running gate examination in the website, we have put last 10 year question paper. Uh, we have also given you mock test how it will look like. Then we have also displayed all the syllabus and some of the syllabus uh, course material if it is available in NPTEL course, what are all the NPTEL course which are, which are more focused towards this syllabus. Those courses also we have bundled and uh, given a link to it. So IIT Kanpur we are reaching out to more and more students. The team, three of us are moving to many colleges and talking about it. We are, we are talking about our, our programs here. Then we are also talking about the dual degree program which 
we are now encouraging that is masters and phds put together and we are also going and telling students uh, in fact particularly girl students and uh, saying them what are the benefits they get by doing this uh, gate examination i hope we have answered each and every question of yours we hope to see you in large numbers best of luck